Hey, what's up you guys? Today's video topic is having the right tools for the job. So today we're gonna to be going all around this RAV4, paying extra close attention to the areas that need the most detail. And we're gonna be doing that using our all new line of detail brushes. All right guys, so our first stop is actually gonna be the engine bay. So before we get into any kind of washing on the exterior of this vehicle, we wanna make sure that we clean up the engine bay. As you guys can see, it has a light layer of dust. You know, it is a newer car. It's not too bad of in the shape, but it definitely can do with some cleaning. Now, the reason we're doing the engine bay first is because, you know, whenever we clean this engine bay, there's gonna be a chance that we get some dirt and grime that kind of lingers and gets out of the engine bay and kind of lands on our paint. So the last thing that we wanna do is wash our vehicle, have to come back and do the engine bay and then you know get the exterior dirty again so that's why i'm starting off with the engine bay first as you guys can see light layer of dust light layer of grime to begin this process i'm actually going to start off by blowing away a lot of the loose dust and debris that's sitting on the surface so i'm going to be doing that using our pro blow high speed professional blower now i'm just using this just to pretty much knock off this light layer of dust All right guys, so now that we've dusted it off, you guys saw there was a bunch of leaves in there that we got out. We just wanna make sure that we minimize the amount of dirt and debris that's sitting on here because we wanna pretty much make sure that we avoid installing kind of scratches or swirls to our engine bay. Now I know this thing is pretty much all plastic. However, if you do have a nicer engine bay, a custom engine bay, you know, stuff with powder coated finishes, chrome finishes, definitely gonna to wanna to, you know, get as much of that stuff off as you can so that you don't scratch up your surfaces. Now to begin this process here, I'm actually gonna be just using some Plano H2O. So with some water, I'm gonna pretty much break down and pretty much help uplift any kind of loose dirt and debris prior to me going in and scrubbing with my brush. So the area that I'm gonna focus on here today is gonna to be the engine bay covers. Now I'm really mainly only focusing on the plastics here. Now I'm not gonna be doing any kind of like heavy tedious work as far as like, you know, doing a deep scrubbing with the pressure washer or anything like that. Like we're pretty much just gonna be using the power of the brush in combination with some cleaner and some microfiber towels. Now, keep in mind, I'm not drenching the engine bay. I'm just giving it a light pre-rinse, just like as you would with your vehicle before you, you know, you foam it up or you start washing it with the wash mitt. So now with that being said, I'm gonna grab my Nonsense all-purpose cleaner. Now, if you guys heard about Nonsense, you guys will know that this is an amazing product for virtually all types of cleaning. So in this case, I'm using it to clean my engine bay. You guys saw the engine bay wasn't too bad, so this is a perfect product. If you have heavy dirt and grease buildup, you might wanna go with something more aggressive, such as our orange degreaser. In this case, it wasn't too bad, so I'm gonna be using some nonsense. So I'm gonna spray a coat pretty much on all the surfaces that I'm gonna be cleaning today. Now the reason I'm doing this first is because I wanna pretty much get the cleaner to break down as much of this stuff as I can. And I'm gonna be spraying it pretty much nicely all on these plastics, especially on these like frame components as well, and pretty much get all in there. And this is pretty much gonna start breaking down all the dirt and grime that's sitting on the surface. And now that that's pretty much all, you know, saturated, now we're gonna be using our wheel works. Now this is one of our newest brushes right here. As you guys can see, it has a nice chemical guys design embossed in the finish of the brush. So it's pretty cool. Now you can show everyone your chemical guy's passion and you know rep the brand that you know keeps your car looking nice and sparkling. So in this case, I mean I'm gonna be grabbing my brush. Now this is the flag tip brush. So this works out great for pretty much nice light to medium scrubbing on sensitive surfaces such as like these engine bay plastics. So what I'm gonna do to begin this process, I'm gonna spray some cleaner onto my brush here. And I'm pretty much just getting this nice and saturated just because I want it to get that nice foaming action. So I'm gonna start off right here on the engine bay cover. So as you guys can see, just with a few little scrubbing action, it's gonna start foaming up. And we're gonna get that nice, intense, deep cleaning. So just like that, you can pretty much scrub your entire engine bay covers, all the plastic, all these hoses. But yeah, you get a nice deep clean. You guys can see, you also get these nice long bristles which are flexible so that you can get nice and in between these crevices so you know especially right here the Toyota logo that allows you to get nice and deep in there and then you can also get into all these other intricate areas as well so you get that nice deep clean feature and you can also use it on these areas as well such as like these painted frame components you can pretty much scrub all this stuff down and get that intense cleaning All 
All right guys, so now that we're done scrubbing, I'm gonna put my brush down. And an easy way to clean up your engine bay is pretty much just exactly how I showed you guys. Spray it with some water, spray it with some nonsense cleaner, scrub it down, and then you're pretty much gonna be left with something that looks like this. Now, whenever you're faced with something like this, you're pretty much all done. Now, in this case, I'm just gonna make my life easy and avoid you know, pressure washing and all this stuff and just using a microfiber towel. And this is one of the best and safest ways that you can use to pretty much clean up your engine bay surfaces nicely, safely, and without you kind of having to get any kind of water and any kind of sensitive electrical components. So just like this, I wipe off the dirt and grime. Now it, it still looks a little dark, which it's gonna start to get lighter right now as I'm wiping the product off the surface because nonsense is gonna remove any kind of grease, grime, and oils that are sitting on the surface of your engine bay. So this is pretty much gonna prep the surface, get it nice and ready so that you can apply a coat of dressing to pretty much preserve the look of your engine bay and get it looking as great as new. So in this case, I'm actually just gonna be cleaning the engine bay. So right now I'm just pretty much wiping down the engine bay from all the leftover cleaner and the water that we sprayed on it and any kind of leftover grime that it uplifted. Now, when, once you're done cleaning the engine bay, you can top it off with the dressing like VRP and that's pretty much gonna bring out the overall look of your engine bay plastic. So if you like having that nice high shine plastic on your engine bay top it off with some brp and you're all good to go so in this case i'm pretty much just going to wrap up all this going to wipe off all the excess and i'll show you guys the final results Alrighty guys, so now that we're pretty much done, as you guys can see, it looks incredible. You know, it can still look better once we top it off with the VRP. For the time being, I'm just gonna leave it clean and dry and we can focus on that once we're done washing the car. Now, one good rule of practice, especially once you're done cleaning heavy, you know, dirt and grime on your vehicle is to clean out your brushes. Now, what ends up happening, I know for myself, I've done this before, I clean my wheels, my brush stays inside the bucket for the next week until the next week that I wash my truck. And over that time, a lot of this dirt and grime kind of settles into the fibers of the brush. Now, one of the easiest ways to prevent this from looking nasty and all brown and black and all gunky, you can make it a habit of rinsing out your brushes once you're done using them. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this is actually with your dirt trap and your bucket. So you don't need any kind of fancy tools. You can set down that dirt trap at the bottom of your bucket. I'm trying not to get the water in my glove. Look perfect. So now that that's all set in there, you can grab your brush, dunk it into your bucket of water, and simply scrub it against the surface of your dirt trap. Now, right away, you guys can see this water turns kind of murky. It turns brown, you know, not super heavy, but you know, just enough to show you guys that, you know, there's some dirt and grime still lingering on the fibers of your brush. Now the dirt trap actually has those cyclonic filters through it. So the bristles are pretty much rubbing against it and filtering all the abrasive dirt and grime that you knocked off from your engine bay into that dirt trap and pretty much through it so that it gets off your brush. And just like that, you take it out and it's nice and clean. Now I know the brush is gray and black and you really can't see it so much, but I will definitely show you guys, especially on our next brush, when we get to the next process, which is cleaning our wheels. All right guys, so our next stop of this cleaning process on this RAV4 is the wheels and undercarriage. Now we are joined by our wheel works brush again. You guys saw us just clean the engine bay. Now we're gonna use it to clean our undercarriage. Now one of the great things about this brush is that it can be used for virtually, you know, most exterior surface applications. So in this case, I like using this brush as the brush to kind of clean the more grimy areas, just because, you know, you have the heavy dirt and grime on the undercarriage. You have your engine bay compartment, which has a ton of grime and, you know, caked up brake dust and grease. Now I'm gonna be using it to clean my undercarriage. So to begin this process, I'm actually gonna begin by rinsing down the undercarriage and the wheel. All right guys, so now that it's rinsed off, now it's time to begin the cleaning process. So I'm gonna be using our All Clean, which is a citrus-based degreaser slash all-purpose cleaner. Now this is a little bit more aggressive than the nonsense that we use for the engine bay. Now the reason I'm using a more aggressive cleaner here is because we have this undercarriage component and we also have these uh, wheel liners, which often collect all the dirt and grime that you drive through. Now in this case, I'm gonna be using this product. So I'm gonna begin the process by spraying the coat. And the great thing about this product is that it's citrus based, so it's gonna help you break down all the heavy concentrated, you know, dirt, grime, and build up that's sitting on your undercarriage. Now, if you guys aren't, you know, used to cleaning your undercarriage, then 
you know, odds are you're probably gonna need the strength because, you know, probably won't even remember the last time that you did it. So if you do clean them often, you can just pretty much get away with like nonsense. In this case, All Clean is a great product. I'm gonna grab my brush. I'm gonna get some cleaning suds right here. In this bucket, I only have some Diablo wheel gel diluted. So it's just kind of to add some lubrication and some foaming factor. So I'm gonna begin this process by beginning to scrub the surface of these wheel liners. Now, the reason we're using a brush is because, as you guys can see, this wheel liner has grooves and indentations, which is gonna be a little bit tricky to get into with just like a microfiber towel or by hand. So using a brush is gonna work out extremely great so that we get into all these grooves and we get the ultimate nice deep clean. So this makes it extremely convenient for us and these flexible bristles on this brush do an amazing job at breaking down all that dirt and grime and allowing us the easiest you know, cleaning experience. We can also clean this part as well. And you can also move to the front of the wheel liners and scrub all the dirt and grime that's stuck on here as well. And that'll pretty much conclude this wheel lining cleaning process besides um, rinsing it off right now once I'm done cleaning this little section and we are good. I'll set my brush down, then I'll grab my hose and pretty much just give this a light little rinse. All right, so now that the undercarriage is clean, now we can proceed to cleaning the wheel. Now you guys may see a brand new brush right here in my hand. This is our new version of the Big Blue Stiffy. So as you guys can see, it has a nice hard bristle texture material, which works out extremely well for scrubbing your tires. So now I'm gonna grab my All Clean and spray it directly onto my tires. And I'm gonna be using it in combination with the Blue Stiffy brush. I'm just gonna grab some foam suds right here, spray some cleaner onto my brush, and then I'm gonna rely on the stiff texture of this brush so that we can knock off all the dirt and grime that's embedded onto the tire. Now, if you guys wanna have the best tire shine application possible, this is something that you definitely do want to do. Now, this is removing all the dirt, grime, previous dressing that you've applied to the surface of your tire so that once we're done cleaning our wheel, we rinse it, we dry it, whenever we apply our tire shine, it's gonna last much longer. And you can do that simply by using an all-purpose cleaner like All Clean mixed with some um, with a nice stiff bristle brush. I'm gonna continue with cleaning the wheel. And then once I'm done with it, I'm gonna rinse it off with some water. All right guys, so as you guys can see, this thing, it's absolutely disgusting. I mean, check out the foam. This thing is brown. Foam's not supposed to be brown, guys. It's supposed to be white. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually rinsing off this dirt and grime. I know you guys can't see right now because the tire's still wet, but once it's dry, it's gonna look nice and black. It's not gonna look shiny because it doesn't have any dressing, but it is definitely gonna look clean. And show you guys right here just how dirty my brush got. That's all the dirt and grime that was on the tire. So, you know, this stuff didn't just magically appear. This stuff was on the tire and we pretty much were able to get all that stuff out by using this brush. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually pressure wash it off so that you guys can see how it looks like when it's clean. So take a mental image how it looks right now. Cool, you got it? All right. Check it out guys, nice and blue again, nice and pretty much brand new. So that's pretty much what a stiff bristle texture brush like this can do for your tires. Now this isn't just for looks, it isn't just for you know anything like that, it's actually designed to pretty much break down that heavy layer of grime. So now that we're pretty much done with the tire and the undercarriage, I'm gonna move this to the side. So now I'm gonna grab the last brush right here, which is our wheelie. Now we have our green flag tip brush right here, which as you guys can see, it has a nice flag tip, which means that it's extremely soft on your wheel finishes. So especially on a wheel finish like this, you know, this wheel, thankfully, isn't too bad. However, we still have some dirt and grime, as you guys can see right here, that we wanna knock off. So this brush works out extremely well and it flexes around so that you can get the nice all around deep clean whilst preventing the chance of installing scratches and swirls to your wheels without having to resort to a more aggressive wheel cleaning brush. Now to use this, I'm actually gonna be using our Sticky Citrus Wheel Gel, which as you guys know, is a citrus-based 
gel that is designed to cling onto the surface and stay there and pretty much allow for the maximum cleaning capability. So with this product, you don't need a lot, especially when you have a nice flag tip brush like this. The product is designed to be a gel, so it's supposed to foam up and pretty much stretch. So you don't need to spray much of it at all. So what I'm gonna do here is show you guys how little of the product that you need to go with. So I'm gonna spray each spoke. One, two, three, four, five. And then what I'm gonna do is grab my brush and I would highly recommend that you guys do this as well. Just dunk it into some water. Now I know I have some Diablo in here, but just from the water itself, I'm gonna show you guys just how much this product starts foam up. So as you guys can see, it foams up very nicely and it does an amazing job at pretty much getting all the dirt and grime from the surface of this wheel. And as you guys can see, it flexes around the bristles and they flex around to any kind of contour and the spokes of your wheel. So I'm just showing you guys right here, check that out. And we can also get into the lug nuts right here. I like this uh, brush personally a ton just because of the flexibility that it offers. You know, especially with wheels, you know, you're never gonna be faced with just one wheel type. You're always gonna have different kinds of wheels to clean up. And this brush is one of the most versatile, you know, brushes I would say. So just like that, I'll finish up this wheel here. I'll just dunk it into some more water here. Just kind of loosen up any kind of abrasives that may be stuck on the brush and continue with the scrubbing process. All right guys, and just like that, we're gonna go ahead and rinse off the wheel and see our final results. All right guys, and just like that, we're done with the wheel and our brushes look amazing. So as you guys can see, they are nice to their plain state. So you guys saw that we did a deep cleaning on the undercarriage and the wheels. However, these brushes, they're not just for wheels. You guys saw us use them on the engine bay as well. And right now I'm gonna show you guys a few other places that you guys can use these brushes with. All right guys, now another great way that you can utilize your brushes is actually by cleaning up your trim as you're washing your vehicle. Now I know myself for a fact, whenever I wash my truck and I have like areas like this, I have like a texturized kind of grill or you have a lot of like textured plastics around, you know, most of us would just kind of wipe it down with their wash mitt and call it a day. However, if you do want to achieve the ultimate clean and you do have a lot of built up grime that's on here, especially if you have like bugs and stuff, Use a brush, it's much easier to get in there and I'll show you guys how. So right here, I have the car foamed up. This is actually just a bucket of soap. Uh, this is a Glosswork soap and I'm just using it with my wheelie brush. And as you guys can see right here, it's nice, it's flexible, it's soft and it's pretty much gonna do the job of getting all the dirt and grime from within the crevices of this material because you know just imagine you're trying to get into all these little cracks and crevices by hand you're going to be here all day and that's you know you don't want that so you can go ahead and scrub all these plastic textured areas as well as this lower area as well and the great thing about it is that this brush is extremely soft especially on these types of areas so that you're not damaging them you're not scratching them it's pretty much just giving it that ultimate deep clean and you can pretty much mimic this process all around your vehicle. Now this RAV4, it does have a ton of plastics all around it. So the last thing that you wanna be doing is wiping these down with the wash mitt because just remember, uh, these are textured plastics as well. So you wanna make sure that you know you use a brush so that the bristles of the brush get deep into each texture so that it uplifts the dirt and grime that's trapped within. So I'm pretty much gonna mimic this process all around the vehicle on the plastics and be right back with you guys once I'm done. Alright guys, and that pretty much wraps it up. As you guys see, this RAV4 looks amazing. You guys saw just how effectively we use our brushes here 
all around this vehicle. Now, if you guys wanna see more content of these brushes in use, make sure to stay tuned for part two, where we show you guys how to use some of these brushes on the interior of your vehicle. That's right, interior. I know you guys love interior videos, so stay tuned for part two. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, comment down below which one of these brushes is your favorite. And if you guys do wanna pick up these brushes right now, head on over to chemicalguys.com or swing by your local detail garage store. My name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, I'll see you guys next time.